Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we are back. We are back. We had a 4 0 week uh, this past week. Uh, just, you know, that's what I do for y'all. 4 0 again this week. And we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it rolling. We're going we're gonna to keep bringing down the house. We're going to keep making money. I'm going to show you how to make money on the big fight, the Mecca of Boxing, Madison Square Garden, with Shaki Forster, Abraham Nova, WBC, Super Featherweight title. Um, and this is an easy one. Uh, this is this is absolutely easy, easy peasy one. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you uh, every for every single major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble. I use DraftKings here. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas, but if you do. Bet on sports. I'm going to consistently show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I know how to handicap the sport. Again, like I said, I just went 4 0 this week, and we're going to go for another 4 0 next week. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media. Also, follow, uh, subscribe to me on Patreon. Uh, the Patreon, uh, it's the link is in the description. You get all types of awesome perks. Uh, if you uh, you get a free T-shirt, you get uh, the lock of the week. You you can uh, ask me to handicap a fight. You can ask me for a scouting report. I will give you anything uh, that I can on any fight that I can, so that you can get rich. Uh, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into uh, today's show. Um. I think Oshaki Foster is a special talent. The kid's been through hell. Uh, he took two losses early in his career on Showbox. Um, he came all the way back. Uh, he, he was faced with prison. He was staring, you know, a life sentence or 15 years in, in jail, something crazy like that. Uh, he overcame that. He's extraordinarily mentally tough. You know, I was talking to his trainer, Bobby Benton. Um, and they were talking about his last fight with uh, Rocky Hernandez. And, you know, it was in Mexico. It had open scoring. They knew that they were robbing him in real speed. Like, they knew what was happening. And, and Bobby Benton said, you just got to talk to him like a man. And explain to him, look, you're not getting a decision. We're going into the 11th round. You're lost on the cards. You, you, cards, you, you need to go knock him out now. And Oshaki did that because Oshaki is different. Oshaki is a special fighter. He's not just extremely gifted, fast, powerful, great reflexes, quick feet, you know, good footwork. He's not just that. He's so much more than that. He's a warrior. He's a fighter. And, you know, he said when he was, you know, on trial waiting to know if he was going to go to jail, him in prison telling everyone that, He's going to be a world champion. He knew that he was going to get here. He's a special fighter. The lead left hook is fantastic. He can he can shoulder roll a bit, but it's what's inside of him, right? He's not going to lose his belt to Abraham Nova. Abraham Nova is a decent fighter. He, he likes to jab from long range. He likes to fight to be at long range. He leans in a lot. He's not terribly difficult to hit. He just doesn't really do anything exceptional. He's fast. Oshaki's faster. He doesn't really have much pop. Oshaki does. Oshaki's a much better craftsman, a much better jabber. He, you know, Nova throws in decent volume. He's not a volume puncher. He's not going to win rounds on volume, although he, he throws with, with, with decent volume. He's also very predictable. He's easy to counter. He's just, you know... Coming up, I can see why, you know, he was he was recruited and why he got a top-ranked deal and, and why they liked him. But at this level, he just really doesn't have anything. He's not accurate from the outside. Like I said, he leans in. He's easy to counter. He's not going to win rounds from the outside, and he, he's really not good on the inside. He's got decent speed, and, and, and he's a good athlete, quick reflexes. He makes you miss, but he doesn't make you pay, right? He doesn't he – doesn't, Clobber you. He doesn't hurt you in return, right? If you, he also gets wild too. Like I said, he just for someone who's quick with those reflexes, he's he's eerily easy to hit. Like he's very easy to hit. You know, he doesn't engage enough. There's just not. He's not 
at this level, it's just not going to work for him. Oshaki Foster is better at everything than him. You know, Oshaki has his flaws too. You know, uh, he keeps his head a little too straight sometimes. Heads on the line a little bit too much. That's really it, though. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to pick on, on Shaki. Shaki's really good on the inside. Shaki's good against the ropes, although that's not his strength. You know, he's not super busy. I guess you could you could fault him for that. I, I wish he threw in a little bit more volume. So maybe you can steal rounds against him. But like I said, Nova's not really a super high volume guy. There's just there's no real path to victory. Everything you would say Nova does well, Shaki does, Oshaki does better in, and it's just this is Oshaki's going to win this fight. The only question is, does he stop him? I think he probably stops him late. Although we're going to pull up what I'm showing you now. Let's take a look at it. You know, and I'm, I'm getting a little disappointed here with with uh, Drake King because they're not putting up the props. They're not putting up the over under. They just have the money line. We may go back and revisit this video, but Oshaki Forster minus a thousand. It's a little wider than I expected. If you were asking me how they were going to handicap it, I would have said minus six hundred for Forster. It's not. I would have said minus six hundred for for Forster, and plus three fifty plus four hundred for Nova. They have him at minus a thousand. It's a safe bet. It's two times. That's only going to make it. Uh, 20 bucks, but we're going to cash it in. We went 4 0 last week, so let's keep rolling, 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 rolling. I like Forster if you can get a book. Uh, I like, you know, it to go over. I like it to go late, and I probably like Forster by late knockout. So if you wanted to do that, if you want to take Forster, the over, and Forster by knockout, depending on what the odds are, I'm going to try to look at this again when they. Uh, update this with the prop. They will update this with the prop, but we're just six days away now from the fight. Like, it should be up there. Um, but just for the sake of this, Shaki Forster, two times on the money line, make it 20 bucks, clean up, take the money, go on to the next one. There are other fights to make money on. This is a lock. This is easy. Take this money and just go on to the next. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Again, 4 no last week. Join my Patreon. Joining my Patreon makes you money because you get the lock of the week, and you can ask me to handicap any fight. So it doesn't cost you $5. It makes you infinitely more than that. Uh, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. It is February 11th already, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.